I don't care if it's old. Fuck them in error. Come on. At the beginning of the Zen video? Come on. Static in the videos. Am I finally making my return? With the face masks on. Fuck. Like, no, no, don't. The next generation? You. And you. And you. And. Oh, wait. There's nobody there. <laughs> this match is Ty Dillinger slowly picking up a jacket and looking at it. Seriously? Since Ty is involved here, the 10 cent penalty doesn't count. Wait, is that really? That's the rule really? That's here really? On WWE no cent added, just oh. letting you know. Crazy. Are you sure you're out of that? Copyright infringement. Okay. Eric Young pretending to have a seizure. Got your beard. Uh, Ty could definitely use a breathman right now. Tic Tac. Amazing how the referee can spot a foot on the rope when it's completely blocked from their vision right here, but can't see it when it's literally right in front of them in other matches. Something I never understood. Okay. Wanna know the unusual thing here? When Eric wins the match, the ring announcer never announces him as the winner of the match. What the hell, man? Well, it looks like nobody won. Corey Graves thinks that Ty should quit wrestling just because he lost the match. I'm totally fooling everyone into thinking I'm debuting at the Royal Rumble when I'm actually debuting the next night face. I to know. To hell with voodoo. I came here for to hell with reason, voodoo. That is the NXT I came here for one reason to win this uh, match. Don't care. That was right on Roderick's you chest. You idiot. Those are tweets. There we go. There's the 10 cent penalty. It's not cool. It's annoying. This one moment is it, the time Yeah, I hate the 10 cent penalty to too. It's, it's, yes, Christian, you and me sometimes have something in common. And the 10 cent penalty? Like to have everybody chanting 10 for no reason at all? Person, Definitely count. You're not supposed to openly cheer for anyone. That's not how a commentator's job works. Call the action or join the fans in the audience. Or quit. And then you can be a fan. No, no, no. Oh, no. Percy Watson, stupid cheerleading. T-Bag City. Woo! Call of Duty time. Yeah! Chapter 1, the beginning. I'm going to remove a sin because I like seeing Paul Ellering's role in this promo. I know. He's one of the best managers I've ever awesome. seen. Skeletal mask plus Dementor look equals freaky and intense. Another center move for the awesome attire for the awesome I know, game. that's very cool. Haha, uh -huh, Razar forgot to take <laughs> off his mask in time. Pretty much said, oh, sorry, shit, bro. Take the mask off. <laughs> the referee just sorry, lets bro. everybody be in the ring at the same time instead of getting the illegal men out of the ring. That's true. Ooh, look at that, another row of tweets. Boring. We interrupt NXT TakeOver San Antonio to bring you NXT TakeOver Toronto. And just like before, the referee still allows Why? this to happen. Are they rookies? The referee continues to allow this. I mean, at least acknowledge one of them to get out of the ring if they're not the legal man. All four wrestlers have been in the ring for the good part of three minutes, and the referee not once did a thing. Fire about him! The NXT if, referees if, must be rookies too. I guess. Wow, it was very difficult for me to find sins during this match. Then again, it's NXT. Of oh, course. It's and awesome. Also, congratulations to the authors of Pain on this well-deserved victory too. Yep. Alright, I admit, I did not see Seth I know! I was saying, so I would, I would confuse on saying why was Seth Rollins in NXT. Is he going back? Only now does Seth realize that ah, not blurry. Is, the NXT is it actually shows supposed to be blurry? Hasn't about showing up until now. Is it actually blurry? Heel character hypes up the possibility of confronting rival and ultimately trolls us by having yeah. security deal with the situation instead, cliche. Jeez, that's a long ass cliche. Nikki Cross kicking the turnbuckle right in the balls. What did the bottom turnbuckle ever do to her? I don't know. Well, well. They share an apartment, Phillips. Corey Grace pretty much says what we always knew about Peyton and Billy. Also, thanks for giving me those sexy images, and now I gotta take a 20 minute break. Damn it, damn it, not again. For the love of God, Christian, how many times am I gonna have to do this? Their opponent? You're announcing it like this match is really a three on one handicap match rather than a fatal four way match. <laughs> all the oh my opponents? god. Can we have Justin Roberts back? Hashtag ignore what you just said. Right now. Anybody else just noticed that Nikki was twerking in the corner over there? No, I need to, I need to check that out after this video. Because you can't say Although this is old, I don't care. I haven't seen this. Referee telling Nikki to let go of Asuka's hair, despite the fact that pulling hair is legal in a fatal four-way match. Oh my god. Dumb. You dumb referee. You dumb sheep. Bad rope. Very bad. Jeez. is watching Nikki the whole time, but Billy is not. Which makes me assume that the only reason they both went down is because they do everything together. 
Nikki Cross thinks she's the Undertaker. You're not. One of the NXT commentators think that sitting far away from the ring would protect their table from any harm. Nope. Not today. All right, sure. Why not? I don't really agree with removing a sin as much, but I gotta admit that was... Yeah, I know. It was a pretty good moment. I just got my headset back on. Really? Only now did you put your headset back on when the wrestlers were away from the commentary table for the past two minutes? Jeez. At NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, Bobby Roode thought he was Shawn Michaels by descending from the heavens. Now he believes he's a combination of Ric Flair and the Godfather with all these <laughs> women. Although, to be honest, I guarantee they had a lot of fun with his gloriousness once he... No! 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 Yes! <laughs> Stop making up these jokes! This is the oh my god. Uh. Watson's jealousy. Ugh, so what's their problem? And many people may say, Ugh, when do you have a girl? Guess what? I don't need one because having a girl is bullshit. But I am the most glorious sinner. Thanks for the shout out, Corey. Shit, my hair's possessed. I can never look at Shinsuke Nakamura's entrance these days. I do not suffer from epilepsy, but looking at all those strobe lights really hurt my eyes. I know. I honestly hope all those who do suffer from epilepsy didn't. Well, you know. Damn it! Ends, this is why I hate so your fans a lot. In, as usual, I'll consider bringing Tylenol with me when I attend NXT Orlando, <laughs> just on the very case that this happens. <laughs> I guess even some We're of the best matches oh, yeah, vlog. Of three minutes of nothing but listening to off sync singing from the crowd and stare downs. <laughs> Dick measuring contest. <laughs> Really? By the look on his face, even Shinsuke is getting tired of the fact that this big title match has just been a dick measuring contest for the last seven oh minutes. Oh my god. What a devastating knee to the air. Wow. Good job, Bobby. Copyright infringement. Yay. The annoying ass kissing commentary of Percy Watson. Seriously, also, get has anyone ever noticed that WWE is making the black commentators be the ass kissers on commentary? Byron Saxton on Raw, yep. Daniel Tunga on SmackDown, and Al Percy Watson on NXT. What does WWE have against black people actually doing great commentary? I don't know! Can't watch that Okay, you know what? I don't care. That's pretty cool. And the referee decided to be a dumb show up by rolling around upon the near fall. That is honestly one of the weirdest and unnecessary things I've ever seen a referee I know. Do. Two minutes of attending to Shinsuke. Ugh. Jesus Christ, are you serious right now? Percy actually believes that a legal submission hold on someone's injured leg is considered unfair play? That is one of the most oh pathetic excuses God. I've heard on commentary. You're what so the hell is dumb. Matt Bloom doing out here? He doesn't become a factor in this match, so why is he out here? I don't know! Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> exactly! I'm now adding in five sins for you calling a fair victory stealing. What ails you? And then those five cents will be removed, mainly due to the fact that this match was awesome and Bobby earned this victory. And wow, this was a pretty short video. Didn't really find that many cents like I normally would. Just goes to show that this event was awesome. I know. That's why NXT is such boss AF.